The drum of war is beating loud and clear. Be careful and watch out, said the town crier. It was a long time ago, in a small village named Irewale, near Ikire town. The king of Irewale village looked worried because he just received a letter of war from Oba Aderemi of Ikire town. During the rainy season, the two villages usually clash because of a rock that settled between the two villages. The villagers believed that the rock produced water that could be used to cure diseases and all sickness. And because of the mystical power in the water from the rock, conflict usually ensued between the two villages. It was said that during the last rainy season, a young child from Ikire town died because the people of Irewale village prevented the mother of the child from fetching water from the rock. This is not the first time that such occurrence will happen. Whenever it starts to rain, Oba Adetomiwa usually position warriors at the entrance of the rock. These warriors are to intimidate the people of Ikire town from fetching the water from the rock, but more so, those warriors are there to collect money from anyone who wish to drink the mystical water from the rock. So many times, Obaderemi sent peace treaty to Obadetomiwa, but Obadetomiwa was just too greedy and wished not to share the mystical water with the neighboring village. But now that Obaderemi has gone to Oshobo Kingdom to seek for their support in fighting Obade Tomiwa, this made Obade Tomiwa to invite Balogun, his trusted friend and his accomplice in crime. Balogun, war is coming, said the king. Kahabiesi, we are ready. Whether the war is coming from Oshobo Kingdom, or Ikire town. Kabiesi, we are ready. Hmm. The king breathed deeply. What of Ade Diwura, my princess? Kabiesi, Ade Diwura and my son, Jagulabi, will lead the people to war, said Balogun. Balogun continued. You know that's why we have trained the two of them with the finest in the land. We have nothing to worry about. Balogun. But you know that peace is better than war, said the king. Kabiesi, what is your fear? asked Balogun. Hmm. Ade Diwura is the only child that I have, said the king. I cannot send her to the war front, Kabiesi. But you know that Jagulabi too is the only child that I have, interrupted Balogo. But Jagulabi is a man, said the king. Adedewura is the princess. I think we should devise another alternative. What if Adedewura marries the prince of Ikire town, Aremo Dadebo? Mm, mm, Kabiesi. Balogun sounded excited. I get that. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Princess Adedimura will marry the prince so as to penetrate into their midst and bring down Ikire town. And we can continue selling the mystical water from the rock and keep enjoying life. But when Princess Adedimura heard the news, she was not excited because she knew her father, the king, always has more under his sleeve. And when Balogun told his son, Jagunlabi, of the king's word, Jagunlabi became angry. Are we not warriors? Should we be scared of war? Jagunlabi asked his father. I've told you countless times that I will be the one to marry Princess Adediwura. Father, don't let the king marry her off. But no one listened to Jagunlabi's plead. 
The king wrote to Obadiremi, stating his intention to marry Princess Adediwura so as to form an alliance with Ikire town and so that Obadiremi can stop the war. Obadiremi was happy with the latest development, so he sent a servant to Irewole village. Carry these yams to Obade Tomiwa. Tell him I have accepted his proposal. As the servant journeyed with the gift, Jagulabi counseled them on their way. He threatened the servant and gave them spoiled yams to deliver to Obade Tomiwa. When the spoiled yams got to the king, he felt insulted. Balogu, what is the meaning of this? The king asked. Kadiesi, Obadiremi is not ready for peace, said Balogun. Obadiremi just insulted the crown on your head. Ha! The king was annoyed. Balogun, prepare the children for war. The moment the news got to Obadiremi, he decided to send his son, the prince of the town, Aremogbadebo, to Irewole village. He is sure that the presence of Aremogbadebo will prove his true intention. When Jagulabi heard that Aremogbadebo is on his way to their village, Jagulabi finally saw it as an opportunity to successfully incite war between the two villages. So Jagulabi attacked Aremogbadebo and killed Aremogbadebo. Obadiremi shouted in grievance. Obade Tomiwa killed my only child. Ha! The drum of war beat so loud in the air. That very night, as Obade Tomiwa also prepared for the war, a messenger came from Oshobo Kingdom. Kabiesi, the king of Oshobo Kingdom, requested that you give him the mystical water from the rock so he can give it to the sick queen and in return he shall not join Obadiremi in fighting battle with you. When Kabiesi told Balogun, Balogun laughed. Kabiesi, this is victory already. But the king frowned at Balogun. You know very well that we are still in the dry season, that the rain is yet to come and the rock has not produced water. But Kadiesi interrupted Balogun. I also know very well that you have a small pot of the mystical water kept in your chamber. No, 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 don't say that, said the king. What Balogun is not aware of is that the mystical water does not only have the power to cure and heal, but it can also bring back the dead to life. Only the king and princess Adedewura is aware of this. Thus, this made the king to keep a small pot of the supernatural water in case if death comes knocking in the palace. That same night, the king devised a plan. He poured out the mystical water from the small pot and in return filled the pot with ordinary water. He ordered that Chagunlabi should take the water in the small pot to the queen of Oshobo kingdom. But as the queen drank the water, she didn't feel better. Rather, she started coughing and soon she passed away. The king of Oshobo kingdom became very angry that he ordered the immediate execution of Jagunlabi. At that moment, Jagunlabi was hanged on a tree and the birds feed on his carcass. How dare you! Balogun shouted in rage. Oguno Koshosho, my only child! The king looked at Balogun. Oh, you think I would not find out that Jagulabi is the one that attacked Aremogbadebo? Is that why you sent him on a journey of no return? Balogun said, Whosoever killed shall be killed also. Kabiesi, how can you betray the ground of friendship? You, Balogun, betrayed the ground of friendship when 
you let your son perpetrate evil towards me? Oh, Balogo said. He was just a young man, foolishly in love with your daughter, Balogo said angrily. Immediately, Balogo whistled and he ambushed the palace with his warriors. The warriors overpowered the palace guards and Balogun brought out a sword and struck the king in his chest. Balogun left the king to die. He proceeded with his warriors to Oshogo kingdom. The king crawled to where he kept the water from the pot. He drank the water and nothing happened. And that is how Oba Adetomiwa passed away. When Oba Aderemi heard that Balogun is warring against Oshogo kingdom, Oba Aderemi refused to join in the war. After all, the king of Oshogo kingdom betrayed their promise to him, all because of a mystical water, all because of their selfish interest. The war went on for days and finally Balogun and his warriors were defeated. When Obaderemi heard of the fall of Irewale village, he said to himself, If the queen of Oshogo kingdom did not drink the mystical water from the pot, if the king did not, then where is the water kept by Obadetomiwa in his own chamber? That moment, Princess Adedewura and Aremogbadebo stepped in. Obaderemi was amazed. As the news of Aremogbadebo returning from the land of the dead spread throughout Kire town and onto neighboring villages, the people became aware of the power in the mystical water, the power to raise the dead back to life. Indeed, it is obvious that once the rain starts this year and the rock produces its water, more people with greedy and selfish interest will want the water from the rock. I think we should be preparing for more wars to come, Princess Adedewura said. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching.